Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and a big welcome if you're new here. Today's video is a Primark haul. So I jumped into Primark, I've been in twice actually and I got a couple of sort of spring bits and a, a little bit of workout stuff since I'm in my big fitness um, fitness routine at the moment. So I'll hopefully be able to show you those. I'll try, I'll put try on clips up here um, as I'm talking through the outfits. And I've also got a little H&M outfit as well to try on at the very end. I haven't had it on yet. That just arrived yesterday. So let's get into the pre-mark haul. I'm going to start off with the fitness bits because that is what I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Um, I haven't bought pre-mark gym wear in a really, really quite a long time. At first when I was buying it, the quality was really, really good and... I wore it all the time and it got washed, it got worn, it got washed again and it was it always was fine. Then I found the quality kind of went downhill a bit and things were a bit see-through and the materials weren't really very nice. They were kind of like really shiny and thin. But it seems to have gotten a little bit better now. So I picked up a, a, a little set. So, well, this isn't part of the set actually. Let me show you this first. This isn't part of the set. This is just on its own. So it's a mauve purpley colour sports bra little v-neck here and I thought the back was really really interesting it's not adjustable it, but it's got these little straps up here so because I didn't I couldn't find the leggings sorry the, so the wee Brandon's on the back there couldn't find the leggings to go with this um so this I got in a medium uh which is a 12 to 14 and it's six pound I probably could have sized down to the 10 to 12 but I'm still in the space where I'm, I think I'm probably if I was to get a 10 to 12, I'm definitely on the 12 side rather than the 10. And if I get a 12 to 14, I'm on the 12 side rather than the 14. So it's kind of tricky. I'm kind of in the middle of, of these. So I'd rather have it baggier than, or I'd rather have it looser than too tight and being really restricted. I don't have a massive chest, so I don't really need massive amounts of support. So I, th I went with the medium. So that is just a little bralette on its own. Next up, I did pick up a full set, and this is this is different. This is not a kind of shape of sports bra that I've ever had before, but I couldn't resist the colour. Apparently, blue is going to be really in this spring summer, so I picked up the blue one with the zip in the front, which I thought was really nice. And I've never had one this sort of shape, so this is more of a top than a bra, but it has got the, it is a sports bra because it has got the padding in it. Again, I picked up a medium, 10, 12 to 14, and this one was seven pound. And it goes with these blue sports leggings. Let's take them off the hanger. So what I like about these is they've got pockets, which is super handy, obviously, for phones and stuff. They've got the mesh detail up the side. They are full length, I think, or they're certainly going to be full length on me. And I went for the medium in these again, and they were £11. So I'll try them on and I'll see if they're squat proof or if they're going to be for chest days um, and back days or if I'm going to have to take them back and get a small. So I'll insert that clip here and let you know kind of how they're fitting. Also to go with that outfit, I got this hat, San Francisco. So this was £3.50. And I like it because it's got the holes in the top, which makes it feel like your head can like breathe on a really, really hot day. And the adjustable clip at the back is the material with the little metal bit. So I thought that would be nice just to wear to go to the gym on a sunny day. I think that's it for the pre-mark fitness bits. I did, I will show you the H&M set, but I'll show you that at the end. So going for t-shirts now, I love like baggy oversized t-shirts and I have I think I've got two of these already, but one of them has got loads of little black spots on it and it came out the wash one day like that. I don't really know why. So I picked up a new fresh one. I got this in a small 10 to 12 because it is quite oversized and I am quite small and short anyway. Don't want it to be too massive on me and it's just this plain top. It's got the drop sleeves, which I absolutely love. And I wear this with my fitness leggings pretty much every day. That This is my go-to mum outfit. So the one I'm wearing just now, the 1990 Copenhagen, that is the same, similar kind of style. It's still in the shop. Um, I bought this 
probably about a month ago I wore, I wore it on my holiday to Poland I also bought a blue one as well which I wear all the time you've probably seen in other vlogs me wearing the blue one so these two t-shirts I plan on wearing with cycle shorts this one this one was the absolute main reason I went to Primark because I seen this when I was in with my husband and daughter and I, I, I pointed it out I looked at it I said I loved it and I didn't buy it and then I had like thoughts thinking oh it's going to be sold out I'm never going to get it at all so this was to wear with cycle shorts in the summer I got a size small 10 to 12 but it's hugely oversized I probably probably could have done with a smaller size but it's this big white t-shirt and it's got California but it's embroidered into it which I thought was really nice because it's not going to come off in the tumble dryer or anything but I think it looks more expensive than it is so this was only seven pound and I think it's absolutely lovely so I'll be wearing that with cycling shorts also I got this other beige hat which was three pound fifty which I intend to wear with it as well this one has got the holes in the top as well but this one's got the velcro fastener at the back another t-shirt for wearing with cycling shorts is this one which i thought was really like rocky kind of vibes and i got this one in a medium which is 12 to 14 and it was seven pound this one and the last california one are from the premark cares collection so you'll see me wearing that as well I like all the kind of neutrals and stuff. It's easy to make a full wardrobe of like neutral colours. So on that theme, I got this massive. So I've been looking for a big oversized zip up hoodie for a really long time. And I've looked in men's sections and I wanted like a white or a cream or a beige or something. And I found it, but I could only get it in a 2XL, which is size 22 to 24. So it's going to be majorly oversized. It might completely drown me, but here it is here. I want it to be like a baggy kind of loose, relaxed fit anyway. So I'll try that on with, I'm, the plan is to wear it to the gym. So I'll try it on with the H&M sports stuff. Lastly from Primark is this new grey jumper. So I got this one in a large, which was 12, 14 to 16. I couldn't get um, a medium in this at all. And there was, like it was big big sizes or really tiny sizes so I'm hoping this isn't going to drown me too much I obviously like oversized things but sometimes when they're too oversized and I'm so short it, it, it makes me look a little bit boxy so it's nice and fluffy on the inside and I thought this would just be easy to throw on over workout stuff to head to the gym because I've been walking to the gym quite a lot my grey hoodie that I absolutely love I got two years ago and it's just covered in stains there's paint on it there's food on it there's foot like mud marks on it from when I picked my toddler up and she puts her feet on me so it's time for a refresh and this one was only six pound I can't remember if I told you how much the other one was actually it was eight pound for the the big beige one and lastly is the H&M stuff one last thing that I forgot to show you is this little hair clip so it's one of those box ones and I got the sparkly one for a bit of, a glit bit of glitz so I thought when I put my hair in a high pony it's quite flat so I thought if I put this under it and kind of like put it up and over it will be a bit more volume and I know these are really popular at the moment so I had to pick one up just to try it to get a little bit more volume in the back of my hair so I've heard lots and lots and lots of great things about H&M workout stuff workout clothes and I've never tried them so I'm really excited to try these today they feel such good quality so I got the the sports bra and the leggings in this lilac color these are made with dry move and I think this was so I got these in a the medium the, I think it's a medium in the top and a medium in the bottoms and I can't remember how much these were, but these were in the sale on the members offer. So I think the sports bra I got for £10. And then we've got the leggings, which are just dry move training tights. I think they're full length. I think I got these for £12 in the members sale just recently. They're full length and they're high waist and they're seamless. But if you can see in the camera, they're like ribbed. So I would imagine that they're going to be quite squat proof and they feel thick, they feel such good quality and everybody does rave about H&M 
leggings, what they don't have is like the ruched bum detail to make your bum look like it's popping. Um, and I was kind of looking for that, but I think I'll find some shorts for the summer that have got that ruching detail. You'll see in the, the clips how this, how this fits. So thank you so much for watching my Primark haul. I hope that's given you some inspiration to get out to the shops and if there's anything that you liked, let me know what it is that you like the best or if there's anything else in the shops that you think I should go out or other hauls that you'd like to see me do, please let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I think my next haul is going to be a big toddler one. So my toddler needs all new spring summer clothes and we've got some vouchers left over from her birthday that we'll probably go and do a little shopping with and get her all the cute like shorts and dungarees and little summer shoes and things like that. So keep tuned if that's something you're interested in. I did actually buy a little poncho for her in Primark, but I've not included it in this haul, but it's Minnie Mouse. And it's the hooded towels for coming out, well, for us it'll be for her coming out the paddling pool in the garden in the summer. But if we were to ever go abroad, I think it's age two to four, so it'll do her quite a while. We'd, we would take that and then when she comes out the pool and she can be sitting on the sun chairs with her wee ice cream drying off. Oh, so cute. Anyway, so that's all from me. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again in another video. Bye bye. I thought I'd just jump back on before I go and say I'm going to send the blue Primark set back because it's not very flattering. Definitely doesn't fit me very well. I mean, it's not tight or anything, but it's, it, I don't feel that good in it. So I'm going to take that back. Um, the purple sports bra was okay. And everything else I love. I love the t-shirts. The big oversized jumpers are actually perfect. I love everything oversized. I don't know why I ever doubted that. And the H&M set I love as well. Really, really good quality. It feels like it would be squat proof. I haven't done the test, but I will do the test shortly. I'm still wearing it, so I'll go and check that it's squat proof. But I love the colour. Such a beautiful colour. I love it. So... This is me going now. Thank you. Thank you for watching my haul. I will catch you up in another video.